Welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess, and today we're going to be talking about um, how the PET method has been doing for my catacetums um, one year later. So the PET method is a hybrid um, semi-hydroponic setup. It has a reservoir of water at the bottom, and it has two holes on the top of the container. And then inside the media is mostly um, organic. So for my setup, I have um, the bottom layer is uh, rock and then a little bit of LECA on top above the uh, location of the holes. And then I have um, some large bark and at the top I have sphagnum moss. Um, I put four plants in the setup as an experiment just to see how they would do and I am really liking the results. So I'm going to share um, how they're doing and a little bit about um, how the setup has been working for me. So the first plant is the Cloesia Rebecca Northern crossed with Mormodes Mimi Wide Segments. Now this plant currently has two spikes and about uh, 11 buds uh, in total. Um, I have no idea what the flowers are going to look like so it'll be interesting to see um, how much of each parent is shown um, in the final result. The newest growth is about a third uh, larger than the previous growth so I think that's definitely um, a positive sign for this plant. The next plant is the Cloesia black jade. Now this plant is the most receptive to the PET method. I think um, a combination of genetics and growth pattern, um, this plant really shined through. Um, as you can see, the newest growth is double the size of the previous growth. So it is a significant bulb um, and it's something I did not expect from this plant. I thought with a bulb this size, um, it should be able to bloom, but unfortunately it is currently not in bloom. It has started new growth, so hopefully next year we'll see blooms from this plant. I am so excited because if the bulb is already this big and it hasn't bloomed yet, I am very interested to see what it will look like next year. So the next plant is the Marmodia BC Elvira, and this plant is also growing pretty well. Um, the newest growth is about a third of the size larger than the previous growth, and it also has a new growth starting with a little bit of root nubbins from the bottom. This plant has a climbing habit. I just wrapped a little bit of moss around the base of the plant so that the roots aren't sticking out too far from the medium. Now the last plant is the Catacetum uh, tenebrosum crossed with callosum. Now the latest growth on this plant is bigger than the previous one, um, but during the dormancy period I noticed uh, a little bit of an issue. Uh, so the newest bulb actually got eaten by some sort of pest. Um, if you look very carefully you can see that there's almost a hole going straight through the bulb. and. Um, so far, uh, the bulb itself has survived, so it's doing okay, and it's also shooting at a new growth. So it'll be interesting to see how this plant does since um, it doesn't have the same amount of reserves as all the other catacetums, but um, I think it's still healthy enough to uh, make it through. This plant also has a bit of a climbing habit, so I also wrapped the base of it in moss so that the new growth has um, some media to go into. So overall, um, all the plants in the PET method are doing very well. Um, they all grew larger, they all have new growths currently, and they're coming out of dormancy, and so um, I haven't had any problems with the PET method. Um, I did notice that um, by having these plants potted in a clear uh, container and having a reservoir of water on the bottom, I notice um, when the water runs out a lot faster. To me, it was quite surprising to see how much water they drink during the growing season because I would check the water reservoir and they'd be empty in less than a day. So I know that during the hottest times of the year, I will have to water these plants more than once a day. I will probably move some more plants into the PET method and I'll probably raise the water reservoir for them. Um, that way I don't have to water these plants as often and um, I use it as a gauge for um, how these plants are doing. I noticed that as um, the plants are starting to go into dormancy, I back off on the watering earlier than I usually would. I think the moisture in the pot really um, stays there a little bit longer than um, a plant in a regular setup. So um, I just back off on the watering earlier than usual and just let the plant dry out on its own. And that way um, it seems to be okay. Even after some of the leaves have completely fallen off and I, hadn't wa and I haven't watered the plant for quite some time, the media was still quite damp at the bottom. So that is just something to consider. And so far I'm really liking that setup because um, all the plants have been doing really well. And the ones in the PET method actually didn't get uh, spider mites. So that was kind of surprising because all my other plants 
got a little bit of spider mite damage and some more than others because they were either in a dry location, they had less humidity, or they were just uh, a little bit dehydrated or a little bit stressed. So by having, so by using the PET method in my current environment, I think it definitely helped keep these plants in better shape than they have in the past. So that is kind of my update on how these plants are doing one year later in the PET method. I think I really like how they look. So I'll move some more plants into this uh, setup and hopefully we'll have some great results to share next year. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to see more about catacetums, please click on the playlist and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.